Tokyo crowd can be anything. 18 to 30 year old men that are just out for violence. It was just absolute carnage. <laughs> Grown men in suit jackets and ties, like jumping up and down. Girls like with tears in their eyes. Girls with their tops off. <laughs> I arrived in Japan, I was 24. Uh, I'd barely really been outside of Ireland. They picked me up at the airport and they brought me straight out to this house and it was the shittiest old, what they call, dojo. It was filthy, dirty, it was just like cockroaches, like the size of this ring. It never really bothered me like how bad the living conditions were, you know? Because for me, like I was just chasing a dream. <laughs> I'll have a match on Saturday in Tokyo. I'll pack up on Wednesday. And I'll fly out Thursday afternoon, lash the caffeine into you, and uh, away you go down Saturday night straight into a match. Because it's like a free drug, you know? Pure euphoria. It's a really difficult come down as well. People don't realize that, you know, you're so high. Then, you know, half an hour later you're in a hotel room somewhere by yourself trying to come down, you know. It could be up to four or five o'clock in the morning. Then you gotta get up at nine o'clock and do it all over again. Ninety-five percent of the work is done down in this gym. And then commute all the way to Japan. Oh, Jesus. That fucking sucks. We have this thing that's uh, sponsored dinners we get taken out on. It's a really wealthy fan that wants to be seen hanging out with the wrestlers and you know he, he'll invite the wrestlers out you know to eat at you know the most expensive restaurant in the town. But really at these parties, you know, some of the wrestlers are so wild as anything goes. They'll be chopping the sponsors, they'll be chopping the staff at the restaurant, they'll be chucking food everywhere, they'll be breaking tables, breaking chairs. I've seen fellas get take one of those chops and literally go flying across the restaurant onto tables. It's not, it's not, a, it's not ballet, you know? Regular's like the MVP of the wrestling world at the minute. Basically made us up here. Yeah, much. And, and outside the ring as well, not just wrestling, like if you ever had a problem or anything like that. Like I'm not the biggest in the world, but I've wrestled against some of the names I've watched when I was young. I used to buy their action figures. Mm -hmm. I have them in my phone now. I become friends with people that I've idolised growing up. I guess the big one coming up is uh, Taguchi. You're looking at Prince Kevin. Been eight years now in Japan, you know. Uh, it just feels like it's coming to a natural crossroads uh, in my life. It's not even so much about technical ability, it's more just about like having the guts to like follow your dreams, you know? So many people have to dream of something, but it takes, it takes a lot of balls to actually like go out there and chase it, you know, and make your dream happen. 